Hey everyone, it's Lisa from the blog PharmaSanBoon.com and today I'm going to show you how to make sourdough French toast. I've been a fan of French toast for a really long time now. My father-in-law says that my cinnamon raisin bread French toast is the best he's ever had. Now, it is not a sourdough one. It is when I make regular yeast risen bread. But today I'm going to show you how to do it with my sourdough bread. To start this process, I made a batch of my sourdough bread. You can find the recipe and tutorial here on my YouTube channel as well as the printable recipe over my blog. Essentially, you get the dough going 8 to 24 hours in advance by combining flour, sourdough starter, oil, honey, salt, and kneading the dough. then you allow it to do its first rise. This really gives the grains a chance to ferment and make them more digestible. After the dough doubled, I punched it down and added it to my loaf pans where it had a chance to rise. Then I baked it for about 30 minutes at 350 degrees. Now to start the French toast process, I took six eggs, a cup of milk, a half a cup of cream, a quarter of a cup of honey, two teaspoons of vanilla, a half a teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon and a half of cinnamon in a glass bowl, and I just whisked it until it was all combined and frothy. Now this egg mixture will make two loaves of sourdough bread, which is one recipe of my sourdough bread. Then I cut my sourdough bread in really thick slices. This is what I love to do with French toast. I like to cut it super thick and then allow it to really soak in, so at least 10 minutes in the mixture so that it gets nice and saturated and almost falling apart. Next, I'm heating up a cast iron skillet over medium heat. I don't wanna drop the bread into it until it is nice and hot, so that way it doesn't stick. And also it gives it that crispy, almost fried taste if you add butter or coconut oil to it. I'm going to fry mine in butter, it's what I like to do, but you can also use coconut oil. My bread has soaked so much that it's almost falling apart, which is exactly what I want. Then after it gets kind of caramelized on one side from hitting that hot butter, I like to give it one flip to get it caramelized on the other side, and then I turn my heat way down so it can cook through because it's really thick and there's eggs all throughout, and it just gives it a really wonderful consistency if you allow it to cook all the way through on low. All right, well thank you so much for watching this video. If you are brand new to sourdough, Make sure to hit up all my videos. I have so many at this point, I don't even know how many. I have a sourdough playlist that starts with how to make a starter, and then all of my recipes. I have desserts, sides, entrees, everything now at this point with sourdough, and of course, bread and bread products are some of my very favorites. This is a wonderful breakfast for the weekends. A little bit of forethought is required, but it's worth it. So delicious, especially if you top it with some raw butter and maple syrup, it's perfect. Make sure to check out on the blog, I have the printable recipe card if you wanna save this for later and keep it in your arsenal of breakfast ideas. If you are brand new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I make two new videos every week on food from scratch, natural living, and a handmade home. Thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse.